welcome back students hope you all are taking your exams in a well mannered way upon the tips as well as the important concepts given by me on my youtube channel in today's video upon the request of many students i have come up with one more course a computer organization and architecture which is a common course for all allied groups of computer science engineering under j2h for r 22 regulation the course is bit too lengthy in its structure you are supposed to work out each and every parameter which i am going to highlight in this video without wasting time i am going to jump into the video and do not skip any part of the video and please do watch it till the end and if you haven't liked this please give a thumbs up so that will be supporting me to work out the remaining units as well as the remaining courses too hope you have even subscribed to my channel if not please do it immediately and pressing a bell icon you are going to receive the latest notifications on the video channel whichever the videos i am going to post for you and please do share my channel even with your juniors too so that it may help them in the upcoming examination the first and the foremost question i have taken from the unit one is a four bit arithmetic circuit to perform full address is set to be the topmost question which may occur in 2ab and the control gates may be the short question cd versus ca versus co and life cycle of instruction may be also very important question bus system for a four register with multiplexer and the computer register and its types with the short question and the registers transfer from this part you may be getting to a b as well as you know that the short questions 1 a to j micro operations and arithmetic shift 4 bit adder and subtract along with its design is set with a 3a question instruction codes direct and indirect just instructions may be the topmost question which may occur in 3b 4 bit combinational circuit decrement as well as functional unit of a digital computer and input output interrupt may be the short question and the block diagram of a digital computer and the purpose of each board may be asked uh, this will be asked this time for sure i'm expecting this question dear students hope you are going to like my video as well as share this content to your friends so that it may reach and help them too and you are going to work out all the theory part in a bulletin points by carrying a set of two pens blue and black later the 4ab is addressing modes is set with the topmost question along with its an example microprogram sequence for a control memory along with its diagram all the diagrams need to be labeled very clearly and drawn only in when pen pencil dear students program input output explain this term short question maybe this time in terms of 4ab of getting from this later 5ab is nothing but stack organization memory mapped input output hardware work plus micro program control may be the topmost question this time i may be expecting the equation paper need of memory stack as well as stack limits may be the short question which may occur in 4 5ab as well as 4ab the unit 2 is all about this later and the unit 3 is all about the multiplication and both algorithms along with an example is the topmost question data transfer and ieee standards for floating point representation is also set to be the topmost question sdram versus dram maybe the long or the short question this time when the differences are given you are supposed to make it in a tabular column and writing each and every point very neatly flow chart for floating point positive advantages as well as disadvantages and its operations and the logic and the program control instructions along with an example is the topmost question which may occur in 7a fixed point versus floating point representation addition and subtraction algorithm may be the short or long question this time and we can expect to work out the instructions of all these parameters this is also set of the one of the very important question which may occur in the question paper in form of six or seven dear students hope you are going to subscribe to my channel as well as share my channel to your juniors and the friends studying in other colleges also and coming to the 8th and the 9th question data transfer modes dma and input output interface with the topmost question in form of 8a cache memory mapping techniques and the main memory is also set with the very important question main versus auxiliary memory as well as the memory hierarchy these are set of the very important questions from the unit 4 stroke control method may be asking this time dear students and daisy chain pre pre uh, priority interrupt is also set to the topmost question which may occur in 8a 8b and there are no separate short questions if you are looking for short questions please do comment or you can work out from this the uh, uh, important highlighted points where i am doing uh, you are supposed to work out each and every parameter of the important concepts which have kept on the paper for the thorough unit so that you could able to write both short and long for a mark of 12 and the 9 ab is asynchronous data transfer associate memory hardware organization is set with the topmost question 
handshaking and along with its outline and its concept and the diagrams do not forget to carry uh, your stationery to the examination data transfer parallel and single and the virtual memory organization and central computer versus peripheral maybe the short question this time these are the questions under unit 4 of 8 ab as well as 9 ab dear students be thorough with all these concepts i'm going to let you know for an average student which units you are supposed to work out and an excellent student which you need to be work out please stay tuned and you are supposed to work out all these questions later the unit 5 the question number is 10 a b here pipelining i mean arithmetic as well as instructions and cache coherence problem is set to be the topmost question which may occur this time four segment pipeline vector operations a short question multiprocessor versus interprocessor communication the difference is set to be the topmost question which may occur this time in 10 a b do not expect direct 10 mark question dear students it is a split of 5 and 5 as you have taken in your earlier examination if you have written well and following all my points and tips please do comment in the comment section so that i am going to let you know the upcoming year examination important concepts too and later arithmetic lining diagram is set to be the topmost question which may occur in 11 ab cise and rise are the set to the characteristics such question may be in the short and long this time for sure vector versus parallel processing as well as space time diagram for a four segment pipeline is set to be the topmost question which will occur for sure in 10 or 11th question or the short question these are set to be the very important and topmost concepts for the course computer organization and architecture for computer science engineering and allied branches i mean aml ds internet of things and play computer science engineering these are said to be the units from one to five i have gone through even the earlier question paper of uh, r18 as well as the syllabus certain things are similar with even r22 also please do work out all this and the student who is just looking to pass need to work out unit 2 as well as unit 3 and unit 5 the student who is to work a student who have already have a basic foundation and fundamentals can go with 1 2 3 and 5 also dear students these are the units to be worked out as you have less time please do work out all these units to score out of out mark do not put a backlog you are supposed to promote from second year to third year with a minimum backlogs i'm going to work out that video how many backlog how many uh, credits you are supposed to maintain in order to promote from second year to third year if you haven't subscribed please do it immediately as well as comment if you're looking for any other course hope you are taking your exams very neatly dear students good luck and god bless you all dear students this is your chandra shekhar signing off now thank you